All right, for this video, I'm going to build a mysis shrimp separation tank. So, the supplies you need to do that are the tank you want to use. I'm using a 20 gallon tall, some uh, aquarium safe uh, silicone, and um, some plastic mesh. So, being a mysis shrimp separation tank, the mesh I'm going to use is uh, 1,000 micron or one millimeter hole size, which should be big enough to allow the juvenile mysis to be able to go through no problem while keeping the adult mysis on their side of the tank. The reason this is necessary is because mysis shrimp are cannibalistic and will eat any juveniles as they are released from their mother. So, um, since I am building a multi-tank contraption, this tank has already been drilled at the bottom and there is a hole there um, for the mice, young mice to be moved from this tank to another tank. But even if you wanted to keep them all in this tank, it would work just fine doing exactly that, just without the hole. Um, I will, in a different video, I'll show my entire mice shrimp uh, separation and breeding facility. But this, for this video, I'm just going to uh, make the separator and install it and show you guys how to do that. Um, or at least what's worked for me. There's a couple ways you can do this. The way I'm doing it is I'm just going to adhere the mesh directly to the tank. Another way you could do it is if you uh, got some acrylic and cut out a portion for the mesh and you could attach it to the acrylic, that would work too. But I found that, well, I find this to be least amount of materials. Um, this huge roll was about 20 bucks and I can use it on a lot of different tanks or on any other projects I may come up with. So I'm going to Get it to the right size, and then I'll cut it to length. So I just want it to go so make sure it goes to the very top. And since this is plastic, pretty much any scissors work to cut it. And the way I'm planning on doing this is I'm going to have some overlap. That's why I'm going all the way down to the bottom, because I'm going to have it stick out along one side. And I'm going to do that side, the adults mice shrimp side. So the reason I am going to cultivate some mice shrimp is one, because I raise seahorses and it's always a nice one to have on hand. And I always am, since I raise their fry, I always have brine shrimp on hand. So, and that's an excellent food source for all the mice shrimp. So it won't be any extra work there. And two, I hope to raise cuttlefish in the near future. So, they will need my sister from the get-go. So, now that that is done, lay the tape down, and I will use straight edge towards the bottom because the top is not going to matter that much. And I will start off by doing the bottom section. So, the way I do this I get a little messy by just using my finger. 
Um, you can put on gloves or whatever you wanted to do to keep yourself. Because I'm just going to make a bead of silicone right along the bottom here and then push it through. So right where I want it to go, I'm just going to make a straight bead. All the way across. And then take my mesh and basically push the silicone through the bead. And I want to make sure I get the whole thing, especially the front. And that, and the corners. Corners I probably will do a little extra near the end, um, just to make sure that the adult Nice as sure it can't get through. So I'm going to let that sit for a little while just so it can start curing. And then we will be back for the next step. All right, so it's been a little while. Um, so I'm going to now do this side. And I'm going to do basically the same idea. Make a bead that goes from the bottom all the way up. And I'm going to use it to connect. And it looks like I didn't cut this quite the size I wanted. I think I'll be able to make it work, but I like to be able to wrap around a little bit more. So I'm probably just gonna use a clamp to hold it where it is, or else it will move on its own. Yep. It's starting to fall on its own, so luckily I have a clamp right here to clamp the top. Okay, so this side is done. So I'll probably have to wait another, probably till tomorrow. And I'll be able to fix this part. And have enough room to be able to pull this and make it go up along the side. Yeah, it just came out. Okay, luckily this really isn't holding any weight, so it's just there. Basically you just want to create a seal, so it doesn't have to be the strongest bond because there's going to be the same amount of water on each side, so there won't actually be a pressure difference. It'll just be the force of any power heads or water you have flowing. So I'm not as worried as I would be, or else I would probably just start over and make a bigger piece.
All right, so I moved my clamp from the one side to the other. I was able to do that just the same night because I just waited about an hour for it to settle to start curing. And I'll probably end up touching it up tomorrow. But same plan as the last two sides. I'm just running a bead. Sealing it up. Also touching up this side a little bit, making sure I got enough to hold it. Okay. And then once when that's done, I'll take off the clamp and just finish it up. So that's how I've been making my dividers for my mice shrimp tank. Uh, pretty straightforward, easy to do, just getting your hands a little dirty. Kind of the only challenge of doing it. And then, like I said, I probably, for my next one, am going to make sure I cut it a little bit wider so I'm not as tight on the sides. Okay, well, thank you for watching. Um, like I said, I mentioned last video, I'm gonna start trying to do, do these each week. Um, so I'd appreciate it if you liked and subscribed um, as I go over kind of tips and tricks and walkthroughs on raising seahorses and other exotic marine creatures. Thanks.